out of all the family, who do you think is the smartest? Uh, I'm not, that's for sure. Oh. I'm not the smart one. I mean, I might be the most practical one out of the group and have like... I would say you use your noggin the most. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm a problem solver by smarter. nature. Yeah, I mean, I'm just a problem solver. And so. you just know a lot of random things. True. That make you seem intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> I fake it really well is what she's politely trying oh to say. Oh my gosh, yesterday I sounded so smart. Oh yeah? Yeah. What'd you do? I mean, it's like basic science, but I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. You pulled a rabbit out of the hat. Yeah. What did you because say? Because <laughs> Clarissa, we were at Clarissa's restaurant that she works at, mm -hmm. and it was pouring rain, like crazy Florida weather, and they had a metal like tent. And she goes, you guys could sit outside. And I said, um, it's about to start lightning and thundering. I don't want to do that. I could get electrocuted. <laughs> she was like, you're sitting under a tent. And I said, yeah, but the metal tent is touching the ground and my feet would be submerged in the puddles of water. And if the lightning hit the metal, I would be electrocuted because the water would be the conductor <laughs> or something along those lines. And I was like, I like, had to stop because I was like, Whoa. and of course, close. I was like, whatever. Exactly. <laughs> but I was like, Sounds I can't paranoid. believe I just said that. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> and there was so many trees around, and I was like, we'll just wait. <laughs> I'm gonna say your mother is way smarter than me, as far as that goes. I think we all are smart in our own ways. Well, I think we all have to play off each other. You just play off of everyone. I think you grew up very balanced because your mom is willing to open a book and is. Read. <laughs> I mean, I, I read more than all of you guys, so that was not even a. But that that was I don't I know where that was from. Sure where you were going with that. Well, I'm just saying she's more practical and grounded and understands that type of thing just because of the type of work she does. Whereas I'm more, I, I mean, I wouldn't say hippie-ish. I'm not conventional learning style. Mom is more of an open a manual to figure out what to do. Where you are just like, ah, I'm just gonna wing it, and hope it works, and if I figure it out, then I figured it out. Yeah, but I wasn't the only guy that read the manual though. Yeah, but I don't know. I just. I, I guess I'm the guy that reads the manual but understands the manual. You guys are over there still on page one. Okay, that's rude. I'm just saying yeah, that's true. Because you'll be like, we've read this, this like six times and I don't know what's going on. I'm like, all right, everyone slow down. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Somebody wrote cartwheels and hula hoops competition. Not really sure what this question means, but if we were to do one, I would definitely win. Oh, for. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was a very avid hula hooper back in my days. <laughs> I won all the competitions. I won a competition at Disney. There was only like two of you and you were going against No, like no, no. There was a group of kids at Downtown Disney and I won. Oh, right. I remember that. Oh, gosh, that was so rude. Just kidding, I remember. Downplaying my hula hooping That was a Christmas career. thing we did. Yeah, I remember. But I'm very good at hula hooping. I'm Cartwheels, not. Cartwheels? I could cartwheel, but I I'll race get you. scared. Okay, last time you <laughs> raced me, you went to the hospital, so because I'm wow. so fast. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Sue. <laughs> Should we tell them the story? Because uh, I feel like... For the hospital thing? I think we've told that before. Okay, we'll save that, that for that another was episode. That was very dehydrated. It wasn't yeah, as we'll, cool we'll as talk about that another time. Sue, why are you hardly in any of the videos? I would say she just isn't really into like being on camera or like on the spot. I think like if we were doing like a vlog and uh, like with our day and she was there, she would obviously be in it. And she chimes in from like every once in a while being like this i don't think she's really into it it's a personal choice yeah. if she wants to she wants to we're not going to push her to no. do anything she oh god want to do. no because that would no. end bad for us yeah that, no <laughs> if she ever wants to be on the show then she can come on the show it's not like we tell her no i think i have once yeah and i got in trouble for yes. it <laughs> i won't do that ever again mm, i'm bad dean what is your proudest moment with Haley? i think when she graduated high high school was like all right that's cool but then college that was something like next level that was pretty cool that would be like up there as far as like you know you have like birth and then you have like graduating college some of the soccer stuff she's done has been pretty neat i think all through high school was was really exciting for me because it was just watching her develop 
soccer wise that is she got to be the captain of the team as a junior which was like really cool big morale boost there that made me extremely proud she might not seem too cool to most people but my soccer journey has been interesting very difficult and if there was one point i wanted to quit it all together getting that far is like pretty cool and practical so. dad had to step yeah. in i think as a parent there's no one moment that is like it's just different levels of proudness it's like climbing a ladder it's like oh that is so cool and then that's like the coolest thing for a while and then there's like the next coolest thing like, oh, that's so cool and then like that's the next coolest thing for a while i kind of hope that they just keep doing that throughout their life even my mom to this day she'll come up and be like i'm so proud of you for doing this and I'll be like what are you talking about I, it's like oh so I'm just so happy for you she's and so you're so just like I, I I didn't do anything and she's like oh shut up you did this and I'll be like yeah but and she's like I know it's nothing for you but it makes me a proud parent would you shut up and say thank you and I'll be like my bad she's sorry so like that. if you could travel anywhere in the world where would you go Canada <laughs> I don't understand why you make fun of me for that. <laughs> I don't know why you want to go to Canada. Where do you want to go? <sighs> Someplace stupid, I feel. Honestly, I don't have one of those bucket lists of I feel like I need to go there. We just haven't spent a lot of time thinking about it. I mean, we have the books of, of famous places behind you. You don't just like, you. feel like we could go anywhere tomorrow. Where would you want to go? I have never taken well, any time to think about that. That's weird. Really weird. I Anyways, know. I've always wanted to go to... T Tahiti? No. Oh. I just... <laughs> uh, I've always wanted to go to Tennessee. I feel like it's just one of those things that I've always wanted to go to. And this vacation, we're going to Tennessee, and I'm so excited. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Guys, I'm going on a mountain coaster. <laughs> it's so fun. We're, we're staying in a cabin in the mountains. <gasps> I'm so excited. I think I want to go to these places because it's the mountains. I oh. don't know why. Who remembers like two years ago? What's the, the run we do? The the blow inflatable, great inflatable. What's yeah. the inflatable run when uh -huh. we were talking about mountains and a lake? Like you were dreaming about that? Maybe oh, this yeah. is when that all comes true. Ooh. I just think mountains are so cool. Because we live in the flattest state. Well, yeah, and I just, when I see them, I'm like, how is that possible? They're so beautiful. Haley, did you ever really want a brother or a sister? Yes. I, how do you know? Because I know you did. You told me I know. you did. I've always wanted an older brother. Okay, sorry. Dean, do you collect anything? And I feel that this is a Dean and Haley question. Yes, I collect Star Wars stuff. A lot of it. A lot of it. I've, I have a whole room. I've narrowed that down a lot. Like, I don't buy a lot of it anymore. Uh, obviously we collect Legos too. I like to yeah. collect books too, like all these books behind you, these are all photo books. So a lot None of, of them have words in them. Well, I tr that's I, yeah, a lot of a these lie, are but... just, yeah, they have words, but most of them are, are some form of a photo book where they've gone to some exotic place and take pictures. I also collect a lot of camera equipment. I don't know if that's really collecting because it's a tool. I collect Hot Wheel Lamborghinis, and I also collect Mickey Mouses of all types. And you have a well, very extensive collection of, of Gene Simmons. Oh, yes. Kiss stuff, I collect that too. Mom, she collects you. precious moments. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, just, she just collects the stuff you give her. Yeah. She just collects you stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we also collect a lot of artwork, a lot of Disney-style uh, artwork. A lot. Yeah, it's a lot. It's kind of a... It's, it's really annoying. It's a nuisance. <laughs> it's definitely a nuisance. We scaled it back a lot because we don't have any more room for it. What was your favorite vlog to film? I think I would have to go back to look. I know there was a lot of vlogs that we had that were fun to do. Like yeah. when we were talking about the bounce house one, I had a that blast filming that. So funny. I thought one of the funnier ones we did was when Fro gave us 10 questions mm -hmm. and we walked around in the rain looking at artwork <laughs> and answering Fro's yeah, 10 questions at Epcot. That was like... I mean, I used to start out the vlogs with me running on Sunday morning. I was going yeah. back and looking at that, and that was always amusing because you'd yell at me like, you gotta stand still. You can't do the twirly thing that you do. You gotta do this. And I was like, okay. So then I just stopped filming my Sunday run to start the show. When COVID first started, when we were eating pizza, when we went and yeah, got the I like, pizza. I like the vlogs where we get food and we kind of just sit and talk. I think you guys like those videos too, based off analytics, but whatever. <laughs> I like the eating vlogs. 
Okay, well, we know what we're gonna and do from I now like, on. I like the old videos where we were known for always having to eat food. Like, if we didn't eat food in the vlog, yeah, it, it was a weird vlog. Yeah, it was like, a weird vlog. Something was off. Yeah. Like, those vlogs are funny. And all of this started on the Five Star Channel because we filmed our two vacations. Yeah. Put them on there just because it was like, the, yeah. and of course, people got are bad. tons of heat. <laughs> you know, it was one of those things where it was like, you got tons of heat from people like, whoa, isn't the car staring? And you got yeah. a bunch of it people like that were like, who were like, oh, this is so cool. Thanks for sharing your time with us. Glad we get to see another part of you. And one of those times when I was out running, I was like, hey, let's do this. Let's do a show that's just the two of us. Kind of pitched her the idea of, the boring life because I don't feel what we do is all I that exciting. Made that. Okay, the concept you came up with the name. <laughs> I just kind of came up with the concept yeah. of this. Just there again, having a camera on and filming our days. Right, and then we we worked it until we came up with the idea of call of because she's like we don't do anything. We're just boring people, yeah. and it was like <laughs> then we'll call it the boring life of Dean and Haley. It's kind of like a play on words in the sense that it's not really boring, but it is. Yeah. Can we get the quad box back? No. <laughs> yes, I would love to get the quad box back. The thing with what that type of what? stuff... <laughs> the thing with that type of stuff is that it, it just... It, it has to do with the vendor and, and how they want to participate. We actually do have a box to go into her car now that is bigger than what she has. We just haven't had time to deal with it yet. Along with that radio? Along with that radio. <laughs> but no, I would love to, at some point, put some form of a big bass thing back in there. Everyone at Kicker had a blast with us doing it. It turned out way better because we weren't even supposed to get that. That was a surprise to them as much as it was to us. There was a whole thing that was going on in the back end of it, and one of the people at Kicker was just like, I'm just going to send it to him. Screw this, because we need to start talking about it. We're not going to say no, and we immediately put it in her car, and we just had a blast with it. People still to this day comment on that video. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was yeah. it was a lot of fun. I had a good time with it. It made me feel like back in high school when we just sit in parking lots and play bass till the wee hours in the morning. Given the opportunity to do it again, 100%. 100%. Yeah. So we'll see how the future goes on that one. Ground Zero does make a 32-inch subwoofer that Fernando would love to get his hands on, but I don't think the box would fit in the car. Do you still have to make sure that your food isn't touching? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take that um, as a yes. <laughs> yes and no. I like to eat bowls. Yeah. So this is in true. that sense, of course my food can be touching. But like if I'm, I'm eating like I think it comes down to application. Yeah. If it's like regular food, like not in a bowl, I don't really like my food to be touching. This Do is the myself, crazy I have to like, deal with guys. Uh -huh. Yeah, sorry. Can we lift Haley's escape and add underglow? Absolutely not. <laughs> I will I... say when I was a kid, mm -mm. I had neon underneath my Mitsubishi okay. Eclipse. I think that's fine. I think neon is, is cool. Whatever. Do your thing. Lifted cars. No. No, 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 no. You don't want it jacked up? No. Big, I oh, tried to get you to put gosh. like a, a big brush guard on the front. No. And do step rails on the side because we saw that one. I was like, bro, do you like that? We can do that to your car. And I immediately got that look. When I see <laughs> cars, four door cars. Well, that's a whole different thing. They're not talking about doing that. They're talking about like monster yes. trucking your car up a little I bit. I know. I get that. But either way, it looks awful. Okay. Last question. Mm. What do you want to accomplish with your YouTube channel? My biggest Ooh. thing right now is hitting a thousand subscribers. That's all that I care about right now. <laughs> After that, I got nothing. I just want the channel to be the channel. I don't really have any accomplishments that I like or want to get. I think this channel is just a fun channel and I want to keep it that way. My goal in doing this was just to have the opportunity to spend more time with my daughter. She consumes a lot of YouTube content to make that available to her so that you know, you know she could feel part of what she watches. I think in this time that we're in in the world and life, that's kind of cool that anyone can create videos and put them out for people to see as opposed to when they would just sit on the shelf and not do anything. Anybody that watches this, from my perspective, I'm eternally grateful for because you took time out of your day you could be doing something else and decided to watch what I did on my boring day. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But my goal was always just the ability to spend time with her, help her express herself, and become a better person. 
and that was it. I think this channel has really helped me become more open <laughs> and less shy. <laughs> That's pretty much all that I want. Yeah? You just want a thousand? Yeah. So... I mean, we're so close, so why wouldn't I, but... You gotta think of next phase. Ten thousand? I just said I don't care about the numbers. Thanks for listening. I, I got that. I mean, if we get there, we get there, but I'm not gonna pressure myself. I probably will, because, you know... I was gonna say, that sounds like the biggest lie I've ever heard. I know. I just... I think they're out of my head. But... Whatever. Well, thank you guys so much for submitting these questions. This was really a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys, I'm not going to say learn something from this because this was definitely a lot of learning experience. I hope you observed something for this. I don't know. I hope if you watch this with your kids or you just watch it to have fun and just see s stupid stuff. I don't know. Whatever it is you watch this for, thank you so much and thank you again for the questions. And with that, as always, Haley. Don't forget to <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe and follow us on Instagram. You know, before we go, even though this was a question answer type show, you want to give them a question like we always do for them to comment on. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, I'll make it easy. What is your favorite potato chip? Have we asked that one before? I feel like we've asked that one before. I don't think we have. All right, well, if we haven't, who cares? Tell us again, what is your favorite potato chip? And also, if do you like these Q&A videos? There you go. That's a good one. So, favorite potato chip and whether you like Q&A videos. And does Munch and Mix count? Yes. Oh, that's like a lot of work. All right, guys. They, you guys can do it. I, I believe in you all. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a beautiful day as always. We'll see you later next time. Bye. Bye.